All right, so I'm a diehard action movie fan, and I really enjoy my guilty pleasure action movies from time to time, which led to me going to see this. So now let's talk about it. Triple X The Return of Xander Cage. Now, if you haven't seen the Triple X series so far, it's basically a movie about the government recruiting these super extreme sports athletes and turning them into government spies who do all this over the top action sequences. And in this one, they bring back the star from the first one, which was Vin Diesel. In this Triple X The Return of Xander Cage, it's basically about them recruiting Vin Diesel back because basically this um, super elite group has access to this equipment that can basically uh, take control of satellites and turn them into missiles. So they have to bring back Xander Cage to try to solve the issue. To move on to the actors, we have Vin Diesel playing the main character, and he does okay. I mean, um, in this movie, they try to make him a witty, one-punch liner guy, and I think it missed the mark. But when he does the action sequences and the fighting and everything that goes down, he does what he always does. I mean, you've seen the Fast series, so you know the guy is a pretty good action movie star. Um, now, they also have Samuel Jackson in this movie. And even though he's not in there that much, he does a good job for the role that he always does, being the leader, the voice of reason, you know, that thing, the, the motivational speaker. And I enjoyed him for what he did in this movie. You also have a few other people in this movie. And... Um, Two of them that I really enjoyed was Donnie Yen and Tony Jaa. Now, if you don't know who these guys are, to me, they're basically the modern-day Jet Li and Bruce Lee because they are the action movie stars if you're a huge action movie fan. Now, Tony Jaa didn't have many lines because I honestly feel like his English is very rough, so they really just put him in the movies for fighting. But Donnie Yen, in my opinion, was the star of the show. He did an amazing job in this movie. The action sequence was great. His acting is great his english sounds great and he was the most enjoyable part of this movie the pacing of the movie was fine as well because it's an action movie so every other scene something was blowing up someone was fighting it was extreme car chase or boat chase or something so the pacing of this movie was just fine the visuals in this movie i think were hit and miss some of them were pretty good some of them not so good looked a little cgi green screenish uh but unless you're really just paying attention to it then you probably wouldn't notice it. Now to get to the meat of the matter, what did I think of the movie? I actually was teetering between it being an okay guilty pleasure movie and not really liking it. The reason being because if you're going to be a guilty pleasure action movie, be like the old Rambos, the old Terminators, the Expendables. Know what you are, go with that and run with it. But in this movie, they would go from doing the over-the-top unrealistic stunts, which I'm okay with because I can just cut that little piece off my mind and roll with it. But then at times they would try to make the movie serious and have a serious storyline behind it and try to be more of a, a, a serious action movie like the Bourne series or something. And, you know, I really didn't like that. There was a huge disconnect for me on that part. So, you know... I think moving forward, because I'm pretty sure that they're going to reboot the series. I mean, the name is The Return of Xander Cage. And at the end, they basically do everything but say there will be a sequel. So I'm pretty sure there'll be another one. Now, I'm hoping if it is, they go ahead and stick with the Guilty Pleasure action movie. Because that's what all the other Triple X's have been. I mean, none of them are that movie that you're going to watch and be like, man, that's a great movie. They're all just Guilty Pleasure action movies. To wrap everything up, um, the storyline in this one was... Your average superhero spy movie. Somebody stole something, they had to get it back. The acting in this movie was average across the board. I mean, Samuel was okay and Donnie Yen did a great job, but everybody else was, eh, okay. Pacing of the movie, I didn't have any problem with this action movie. So if an action movie has bad pacing, then the movie probably sucked. Um, and the visuals in the movie were slightly above average in my opinion. Now, although this movie got very poor ratings across the board on all the sites and all the movie reviews, I'm a huge Guilty Pleasure action movie fan myself, so because of that, it gets just a little bit of love for me, so I'd have to say that this movie is a rainy day rental. All right, so that's it for this one, folks. So for the comment combo of the day, I want you to tell me what you thought about Triple X The Return of Xander Cage. Do you think that it was a pretty good movie? Should they keep the franchise going or should they just let it die? Whatever you think, comment below and let me know. Now, as always, if you liked this video and you thought it rocked, like, comment, and subscribe to see more from me, Mike Prop. Later.